Hi, welcome back to Leslie Crafts and today I'm going to show you another project I have used sorry, I'm just moving something uh, used with my kit um, I'm getting to the stage where I've only got one, two, three of the big papers left so I am absolutely getting it killed um, I haven't really touched the paper pad apart from the papers which I didn't have singly uh, but I've got no more of this one left and we want to go one full sheet so I'm not doing too badly but I'm, I am getting lots and lots of scraps so I'll need to sit down and work through what I can use the scraps for because I want to get this as much used as possible before I start moving on um, this is a bit of a show and tell um, I will be doing a um, tutorial on this one um, but I didn't come up with it it's somebody from YouTube called Kim Can't Stop Crafting um, and she's really good um, so I've got quite a few of her tutorials um, coming up this is my spin on it this is exactly how she made it I've just used my papers and my, my embellishments and things so this is like a little tag pot folio um, and of course you can stick photographs in this or you can just you know um send it send it to whoever you want really so this is the front of it so i've done one of my rosettes and then i've got some foam flowers and then on the side i don't know if you can see i've got some of my paper flowers in here and then on the top i've just got um a selection of my paper flowers and my uh, leaves and then I've just got some ribbon which I put on the around the back and I've just put this piece of paper on the back on that one. So this just literally opens up. So you really could have a little photograph on there and a little photograph on there if you've got one of these like smart um, printers that you can print from your phone. So inside here I've just kept the decoration to a minimum so this is here is a um, just a little um, embellishment but you can if you put in the photograph you can get some of it underneath and then ooh, yeah and then on here as well you can put your photograph so it hits the, some of the coffee cup I haven't done these on the flowers the flowers are um, as stuck but the leaves do uh, sort of lift up um, but that's that's the inside but you can still get you know your photographs you should be able to get like two and a half inch photographs on here no problem and then this is again the inside and again you can put some underneath um, the cupcake so you can have a corner of your photograph underneath there the butterfly is um, as stuck down as anything. Um, haven't decorated these two pages because I think they just speak for themselves. Ooh, and you can tell I've just finished doing this one because it still hasn't adhered, still hasn't stuck, stuck down. So, and again, these are just little thing, and you can tuck a photograph of bear. I'm the same you can put a photograph just behind it and again I haven't done anything to the middle because I think that quote um, is well um, and you can have like a photograph down here so you can still see the quote um, so yeah so it's really nice and easy and it's really quick to um, put together and you should be able to get lots of photographs especially if you've got like I say, that the printer that comes um, that you can get, so you can print directly your photographs out on it um, from your phone, and it just folds up really nice and neatly. And again, you can decorate it as much or as little as you want to, and obviously it will expand a little bit if you put your photographs in and stuff. And on the back of here, it has got two pockets, so you can put your tags in. So these are quite big tags. 
So I've decorated one with Hello You on it and a butterfly and again you can still stick a photograph in there and you can still stick, stick some photographs on the back of there and then this is a larger one and again you can stick your photographs on there and on the back and then I've just decorated with some ri coordinating ribbon from which I put in the kit and these just literally slide in at the back and uh, yeah, and that's it. That is the little folio that I have done. And uh, again, there will be a tutorial um, using Louise's papers, so keep in tune for that one. And uh, we'll be back very, very soon with some more um, show and tells and tutorials. And um, we'll see you very soon. Bye now.